All right, guys. This is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and we are back with another Raid Shadow Legends free-to-play Mystery Shard Only Champion Spotlight. Today, we're going to be looking at Mr. Metal Shaper. Now, we don't have him built for what most people will specifically design him for. However, we did use him to clear the Lizard faction, and we built him this way specifically so he could get through it. Uh, we wanted him to be pretty fast. We wanted him to get some, have some accuracy so he could remove debuffs, I mean, remove buffs, and so that he can use his shield fast. That's essentially all we cared about was him staying alive, having as much defense as possible. We weren't trying to build him for what he is designed for. I will explain that to you in a second, but first, let's take a look at him and see what he's all about. So, he attacks one enemy, all right? He has a 30% chance of stealing one random buff from the target, so that's actually really good. Really good against Valkyries. The only downside is... If he works like most of the heroes in this game, if you remove the counterattack buff, I believe they still get the first counterattack. But at least you don't have to worry about that counterattack being there for the entire time. I don't know if that's how this works with him, but either way, more than likely, I'm assuming it does. All right. A2. He places a shield buff on all allies for two turns. The value of the shield is proportional to this champion's level. This is something I said before that it's a really good skill. It just sucks that you can't make it any bigger. And this was something that actually <laughs> I had someone comment on it. Um, it doesn't mean that his shield is bad. All right. Valerie is bad. It's, Valerie is technically bad in the same way that her shield is based on her level, which basically means once you hit the max level, her shield will not get any better unless you, you know, unless you're using masteries. But even then, you can't make her shield better. Same thing with Metal Shaper. You cannot make his shield any better than his limits. That's it. It's not like you could put a ton of HP on him and all of a sudden his shield is better. It does not work that way. So yes, just know that for for using him, it's not going to be the greatest shield in the world. It's just a shield, but it works just fine. All right. Then his A3 removes all debuffs from the ally with the lowest HP and heals them by 20% of this champion's max HP. Also places a 25% a increased defense buff on that ally for three turns. So basically, this is just a heal. It's kind of good. Yeah, it puts the defense on somebody. It makes it so that, you know, if you use that on, especially in the faction crypt, which is where we mainly used him as of right now because we just built him. He's like hero number 95 or something like that, 94. So yeah, it's been a while and we haven't had him. But essentially, this is a great skill for keeping people alive. <clears throat> so if he gets hit, you can just heal him back up and then give him some defense up, and he can probably survive another attack. All right, masteries that we put on him specifically is mostly heals and shields and speed for when people die. That's always good to have, especially on that last fight when you're only using a reviver to keep your team alive. Uh, but yeah, speed when he gets when uh, other people die, and then all healing and shielding. So everything up here is basically to keep his shields and heals better. And then we've got some offensive stuff down to War Master. We don't want to give him. Uh, Helm Smasher as of right now just because we don't care about him breaking through. We just want him to stay alive. That's why we built him the way we did. All right. Total stuff going on here. Artifacts. What did we do? So we did this. We gave him Swift Parry. Why did we do this? All right. Basically, it's because we wanted him to be able to take a hit and not die. That's that's literally it. And because the, the boss for the Lizard Faction Crypt can ignore shield, I mean, ignore defense, basically. So he will more than likely one shot most of your heroes. So basically what we do is we put her in, put him in the parry set. So now when he gets hit that first time, he doesn't die. Actually on him specifically on this specific build, he was able to take two hits this time. So he got hit once. And then since he has the lowest HP, the boss is more than likely going to target him again, hits him again, puts the unkillable up, and then he has another round. See what I mean? So like one hero, basically, because of his build right now, gets three turns before anyone dies in that crypt. So, yeah, it's a little rough. It's not perfect, but, yeah, it works. So we have crit rate on his glove. We have defense on his chest, and we have speed on his boot. Uh, as far as accessories go, he's got defense on his ring. He's got defense on his amulet, and he's got accuracy on his banner because we want him to land those removal of buffs. All right, total stats. Let's see what he's got going for him. He's got 43,000 HP. He's got 2,300 attack. He's got 3,200 defense, 204 speed, which is reasonable. Crit rate is almost there, 95. He's got 141 crit damage, 145 crit resistance, and then, I'm sorry, not crit resistance, just resistance, and then almost just shy of 300, 298 accuracy. We can easily get more accuracy just by upgrading one of these, probably. I'm sure something in here, see, even the speed can go up. He's, he's not perfectly glyphed out. Oh, here we go. We got another one. We can give him more speed right now. We'll give him speed. <laughs> there you go. Now he's a little bit faster. Uh, but yeah, we could definitely add a little bit of accuracy to get that up above. I think some of these pieces have some accuracy, possibly. I'm not even sure. We could probably find a better... A here we go. This one has accuracy. So yeah, there's a few pieces here. We can actually give him more attack also, but not really necessary. All right, so let's take a look and see what he can do and what he's all about. Close this. Go into the arena. It's arena time, baby. It's my favorite time of the day. All right, so let's find a team. I have to refresh. Let's find a team that is annoying. 
You know what? I have an idea. Let's go in here and fight Leo. So, what are we going to do here? We are going to take her out, and we're going to bring Bog... I mean, not Bog Walker. I feel like they're the same hero. We're going to bring Metal Shaper in. All right, we're not going to do this on auto. Now, there's a reason we're doing this. All right, because I'm hoping that our, our speed tuning is good. I have a feeling it might not be. All right, so it is. Well, it might be. So here we go. We're going to do attack up. Hopefully, he's not the fastest. He's not. So what we're going to do is get him to do his unkillable. All right, so there's his unkillable. See, now he's annoying. So now this is the skill, his A1, all right, has a 30% chance of stealing a random buff. So hopefully he steals it, which he did. Look at that. See? So now you can use him. Now, granted, it's a 30% chance, guys. So that means that 60% of the time you're that what just happened isn't going to happen, all right? So if you're having trouble with someone like Luris, there's, there's way better heroes. I'm not going to lie. There's way better heroes out there for this. Uh, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't specifically choose Metal Shaper for this. And that was a very lucky hit that we just did. But yeah. That's what he's good for, all right? He can steal that stupid buff and make a fight like this, which is normally ridiculously hard, a lot easier, which is why the accuracy on him is so important. You want to make sure that he gets that thing off, right? Now, actually, he might even be 50% because, actually, I didn't, I didn't look and say I forgot. So that's something that you could use him for in the arena. I'm not saying he's perfect for it. Uh, let's see if he does any damage in here. Let's find a fight that actually has, like, a bunch of heroes that we can fight, uh, something that's not a speed. I love this team, by the way, Roshi, whoever you are. You've got all three of these gods. I can't wait till I see all four of them in a one in one fight. I haven't seen it yet. I've seen three. That's the best I've seen so far. Um, here we go. This looks like an annoying fight. Sure, why not? Let's try it. This is probably not going to be a win, but we're going to give it a shot. All right, so basically we're going to do attack up. We are going to smash everybody with a freeze. All right, this guy's annoying. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to go for him either way just to kill him. So we did 50,000. Let's see if we can kill this guy. Almost. So close. We're going to use the big hit. Oh, he's still alive. All right. So who can we kill? We're going to try and kill him. Oh, it didn't work. We're going to get roasted. All right. Who can we take away their turn meter? We can do, we can take his turn meter or we can kill him. I don't know what to do here. We're going to take him out because he's going to be annoying. Uh, we're going to use, we still have another turn after this. So I think what we're going to do is use the shield buff on everybody. All right, so see what I mean? How about that shield, how it's so small and terrible? So now we're gonna try and kill him. So he's dead. All right. Now the problem is we're gonna hit him also and he's gonna heal. We don't want him to counterattack, so we're gonna start freezing him. There we go, he's frozen. And then we go for this guy. So we're gonna heal and get our attack back up. And then we could heal him, but we're gonna try and just get a little more damage. It wasn't really worth it. See if we can get a freeze. We did get a freeze, so that's perfect. Now we are gonna kill Ar Actually, no, we're not going to kill Arix. We're going to kill this guy. Probably should have used it on him. Better idea. Um, he's still frozen, so we're good. All right. So now we're going to take... We're going to do this big freeze. Hopefully, we can freeze both of them, which we didn't. We got one. All right. And then we're just going to keep popping away at this guy. As you can see, he's doing reasonable damage. 9,000 damage. I can take it. I can deal with it. Uh, we're going to use a big hit. Hopefully, we can kill at least... That guy, perfect. And now we're going to try and steal this guy's turn mirror away. There you go. Perfect. But as you saw, he didn't. He doesn't really do much as far as in the arena goes. Like he's not. He's not going to do any damage here. He's not going to help you out in a way that you think he's going to help. He's going to help you out with heroes like that Leorius thing. That's it. That's the only thing he's going to be good for in the arena. Otherwise, I would probably just stay away from the arena with him. Not the best option. Now I don't think Lizard Crypt is open. Yeah, it's not open five days. But yeah, as you can see, 63 stars. You can watch. I actually think I just did the video on it and how much I hated that that crypt. <laughs> I actually said it right in the beginning of the video. I'm like, I freaking hate this crypt. But you can watch how we beat it, and Metal Shaper is on the team that we were able to beat uh, the Stage 21 with three stars. So, yeah, Lizard Crypt is complete, and so is a couple of other ones. All right, so that's that. Now, as far as what he's supposed to be used for in Doom Tower, you could use him for, let's see, normal. You could use him for Scarab King. Now, luckily, he's in here. Would I choose him? I don't know. Like, if you're going to do this for reals, what I would do is probably we would bring in, I think in the original teams, we brought in like him. We brought in Outrider. Where is Outrider? We brought in Outrider because he has destroy HP. And then we also brought in Elhane. So you could conceivably go in here with these heroes and you could put them all in destroy HP if you want. I mean, look at that. Outrider's just killing stuff. But 
you could literally just use that. I probably would have just not used the shield there for a second, but it doesn't really matter because Valerie has a bolster set. So an option for this fight would be bolster on him, or you would do destroy HP, which is probably your best option, which is what we have Jizzo in. Jizzo is in destroy HP, and I believe Outrider is also in destroy HP. So all of his attacks will, yeah, all of his attacks destroy HP. Uh, Elhane, her first main attack like that one does destroy HP. So you can use him for this fight. And as you can see, the shields are going to hold up pretty well with Valerie and Metal Shaper at once. So that does work, and then everybody has Destroy HP. So if you were going to use him for Scarab, like I said, the only change really in his stats in the way that I would play with him is I would put him in Destroy HP. That's it. Other than that, I would keep his stats about where they are now, keep his accuracy high, all right, and just use him for what he's being used for right now. But yeah, Outrider works really good in here too. As you can see, yes, we, use, we do use Uncommons sometimes, right? Boom, look at that. And he did 191,000. He did the most damage. Outrider out damaged Dark Elhane. Granted, he also got the first hit off in the in the wave, so we're not gonna <laughs> we're not gonna say anything about it. Uh, Elhane could definitely do more damage with her AOE. So yeah, you, this is where he's supposed to be used. So just know that the build that I currently have him in is is just is assuming that you already are able to beat Scarab King and that you're using him for the faction crypt more than you're using him for this. Because to be honest, this is the only thing I'm using him for right now is the faction crypt. He's really not being used anywhere else. Um, as far as what I would use him for. Other than those two things, there's really not much. I'm not going to lie. He's not, he's probably not anything crazy. We're just going to go into stage 15 of the dragon real quick, just so you can kind of see him in here. Like, this is a really weird team. I don't know why. That's right. We were doing, we were doing a faction thing. All right. So, like, in here, what I would do is probably we would bring in, what do we do? Our main team. Where's Kale? Bring in Kale. Now, in, and then we would bring in Apothecary for speed right there. And then we're going to bring in instead of Valerie, because she was the original one that we would bring in, we are going to bring in Metal Shaper. Now, we could put him in the lead. Uh, he's Faction Crypt only, so we're going to put Speed in the lead. No, actually, we're going to do Defense. Well, no, because this is 15. If if this was your if this was your first time in 15, I would put Apothecary in the lead for this Defense, say, 20, 21%. If not, I would put her in the lead, all right? We'll do a double. Nice little super raid. Might as well get two things. A twofer. Now, we're going to let this go on auto because I want it to actually, you know, kind of do its thing. Now, we do have a bolster set on who? We have a bolster set on Spirit Host and Valerie. But actually, Valerie's not here. So we have a bolster on only Spirit Host. So there you go. But we do have the shield, the extra shield on Metal Shaper. He's basically a Valerie without the attack up. He's a Valerie with the defense up and a heal. I mean, that's it. He's not like, he's not going to be the perfect hero for dungeons but he's going to be okay if you got nothing else and you happen to pull him in the first week or something and you want to build him just to get prepared for later in the game yeah i mean it's fine there's nothing wrong with leveling any hero in this game literally any hero i don't care who it is renouncer <laughs> we just made fun of him before like even renouncer any hero that you can build is good eventually in the game especially once you start getting into the city and get in parts of the game that require restrictions and you know different factions and all that stuff there's going to be so many heroes that you need which is why things have gotten much easier for me as you can see with these dungeons and stuff it's because we just built a ton of different heroes and metal shaper is just now one of the people added to the roster he's another tool to help us get through things and that's it he's just another tool so he's not he wasn't a hero that got us through anything does that mean that he's not a hero that can get through for you no it means he can help you get through scarab king he could be your jizzo all right he could be that person that I used. I used Jizzo. You could use Metal Shaper. You know what I mean? So don't think that there's only one hero that can do all these dungeons. There's plenty of heroes out there that can beat these dungeons and be fine with this. You just got to level them, and I think Metal Shaper is definitely one of those heroes. I don't think he's a hero that's not worth building. I definitely think you should, and I think he's going to have a lot more uses for you than you probably think once you actually get him leveled out, all right? So, yeah, I mean, if you guys have any questions, I mean, let me know. This guy, he's he's just one of those heroes that I think gets – he gets more attention than most rares just because he has a very specific set of skills, and he has that – Remove on his A1, which is awesome, by the way. Uh, which, by the way, let's look real quick. Skills. There you go. Yeah. Plus 15% chance of buff. Yeah. So 45% chance, right, of actually removing it. So that's not bad. 45 ain't bad. So that gives you a, basically a 50-50 shot of removing that Leonis that thing. Uh, the, the unkillable. 
and hopefully not getting one shot by his main skill. So there you go, all right? Uh, if you have any questions, like I said, let me know how you use him. If you have something you want to say for everybody else to let them know how you equipped him, uh, feel free. Let me know if there's masteries that are off. I don't care. It's fine. Like I said, it's, this is how we used him, and he worked for me. So I'm okay with it. <laughs> and as always, like, share, subscribe. You help the channel grow. All right, we do a live show every single week. And, uh, yeah, if you want to become a member, you can. It's $1.99 a month, and you get access to all my videos as soon as I post them, and you also get to uh, get a free video every week that is commercial free. All right, so this is the lizard with giant bone daggers, a.k.a. Metal Shaper. This is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and you guys take care.